Good morning, all. I am here through the miracle of technology to present to you uh, about your trifle, what it should look like, um, what it should consist of, and how to set up your trifold. And then I'll show you some specific examples of different trifolds. Um, and so, uh, to start with, you should have gotten this piece of paper, which gives you an example of your trifold setup. So, the trifold, and so here's the left side, here's the middle, and here's the right side. So you start with the problem, you have how the invention works, you talk about who this helps, and then you say how this, this invention solves the problem. Um, in the center, you'll paste in here or tape in here the design that you've been working on uh, the past few weeks. Um, notice the name invention in your name. You actually would put the name of your invention in your name, not the actual labels here. But notice how big they are. You want to make those really large so that people can see that when they walk up. Um, you will have labels for problem, how invention works, who this helps, and solution. And then here you will type up what is your problem. And you'll take that from your trifold, and from your journal, I mean, I'm sorry. So you'll take the, the stuff you've already written in your journal and you'll just restate it here. Same thing with how the invention works. You will talk about how it works here. Um, and you want to put that in a font where it takes up the entire page. So there's not like writing on the first part and then the second half is all white. That doesn't look very nice. So we'll, we'll take a look at some examples of that as we go along. Um, but the reason why it's set up this way is this is the order that when you present to the judges, you'll go in. You'll start by telling the judge about your problem. You'll talk about how that your invention works to the judge, who it helps, and the solution. All the t all, During the whole time, you'll be referring to your design and your model, which will be stay sitting right in front of your trifold so that they can see it. So this is why we set it up this way, so that you can pre it helps you with the pre presentation. So um, you can see this is a very plain setup. You know, it's, it is you know, typed and labeled and all that stuff, but it's very blah, because this is just a mock-up of what yours will look like. So let's take a look at some actual trifolds and see how well they follow this trifold setup. So when the judges come around to you, they're going to evaluate on several aspects. They'll look at your journal, they'll look at your um, presentation, and one of them is your actual trifold. They will score you on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being like an excellent trifold, 1 being a really poor trifold. And so you want to make sure that you have all those aspects covered, that you have a good presentation, a good journal, a good trifold, and so on and so forth, so that you get an overall, you get a good score. So, here's the first example. This student has what's called the hatchet hackers. Now they have the problem, they have the solution, so they did do that, but they're right back to back. They do talk about what it does, or how it works, is how I termed it. Uh, notice they only take about half the space and they have all this blank space down here. You want to make sure you take up the whole space. They do have their title, Big, and their names over here handwritten. doesn't look that nice, though. Um, and then they do have this nice visual of a tree. Um, but the issues with it, I would probably give this student a 6 out of 10. Um, because Maybe a 7, because it is colorful. The reason why is several. First off... This title doesn't look terribly professional. It was cut out by hand or drawn by hand, and it doesn't look as professional. You wouldn't see something in Giant Eagle or Kroger with labeling like this. Um, problem and solution in how what it does is all handwritten, and it's not. It doesn't look that nice. I mean, you, sure you can read it, but it would look so much nicer if it were typed. It does have color, so I'll give it credit for having color. But there's no design anywhere that we can see. If you see over here, they have by their name, but you have all this white space where there's nothing. So all there is is their name on this one trifold. So um, and then they here they don't even have their model. So I would say overall this is probably a six because it just doesn't look very professional. It's colorful, but you have to be colorful and professional. Um, this one right here is a little more professional. So I'd probably give this one a 7. It's got um, the, the title here written in color, and it looks very colorful, but it's not neatly written. Um, they have the problem, the solution, who, it, who it's going to help, materials and how it works, all typed out. You notice they took up the whole page, so that is good. Um, the problems, the reason why I would give this a 7 is a, a few things. First off, 
um, this type is really small. They could have taken the whole page and made bigger fonts so that it was easier to read. Because keep in mind, the judges are going to be coming up and, and looking at your um, trifold, so they want to be able to read it. Um, they also kind of like the order is kind of funky. It goes um, problem, then solution, then your audience, then how it works. It should be problem, how it works, who this is for, and then the solution. So they kind of went out of order. The design looks okay. I mean, um, you can see uh, it's, a, it's colorful, and it's, but you can see this is handwritten and doesn't look that nice. It could be written nicer. They hand wrote their names. Uh, which doesn't look as nice either. So I would probably give this a 7 because it is colorful. It did follow all the requirements, but it just doesn't look very professional. And there's your model right there. So this next one, uh, this is a classic case of what I see a lot in invention conventions. So this kid has the, the noggles. And I'm sure what his invention is, is goggles that have a nose piece to prevent water from going up your nose. So the problem is when you go swimming and you put your goggles on, you still get water up your nose. So his, sol his um, solution is he created these noggles that have a nose protection so you go swimming with your goggles, your nose doesn't can get water up it. So this is a great idea. I think that the idea is really good. The presentation of it is not. So no noggles does not look very nice. They're not even the same size. They're kind of sloppy. Um, he has like one sheet of paper over here and then all this white space and all this white space here. His design is somewhat colorful but not really professional looking. He has one piece of paper over here so all this white space and all this white space and then he wrote in hand, my dad helped me with the invention which is nice to acknowledge your dad but it could look a little bit nicer. Um, so I would probably give this kid a five um, because uh, first off, you can't even see what he's written here. It's such, such small font. It's not very professional looking and look at all these open spaces of white that don't look very nice. Um, this looks like the students spent a lot of time on their invention but not much time on their actual trifold and you want to give equal time to all of them so that they, you can give a professional looking presentation. So, um, so I'd give this one a 5. This one right here, we're probably getting up to an 8. So here they have, they've typed here the bounce back which is the name of it and has their design has materials, has procedures, um, some small writing here, but they have some photos, which is always a nice touch, showing how you made the invention and how the invention works. You don't have to have that, but it's always kind of nice. Um, I would say what would give the student an eight is that a few things. So the title here is very colorful, but it's not really professional looking, it's hand drawn. Same thing with he's written his name here, very small, hand drawn. Um, also, it's kind of in a, in a really weird order. It's not very organized. I mean, it talks about materials, the procedure, and then the ventures log. It doesn't go in a very natural order that, that you see on, the, um, on this one right here, where you have a clear setup to where that is. So, um, I would give this, and also, I, this, they use space pretty well. They take up a lot of space. There's not a lot of, of empty spaces, but when there are empty spaces, it's white empty spaces. And then they have white papers here. So the white on white does not look nice. It doesn't make it stand out. It does not make it pop. They do have color in the typing, which is good, but they do not have color on the actual board itself, uh, which, and there's no border. It's just very plain looking. So I would say this is definitely an eight. Uh, this one right here is a nine. Uh, it is well organized. They have the description, the inventor's log, what you should know, where they looked. It's all spaced very nicely. You notice this takes up the entire page. Um, the design is not that nice, but I'm not evaluating the design at this point. I'm, I'm evaluating the trifold. Um, this is really clearly typed. It looks professional, the room pulley. Um, and so I would say why this is a 9 and not a 10, though, is the reason why it's a 9 is because not only do they have, like, these pieces of white paper, but then they put colored papers behind them to make them stand out. And that's really nice. That's very professional looking. Um, the reason why I would say 9, not a 10, is because the trifold itself, there's no border to it. There's no color. There's no pizzazz. It doesn't really grab you. I mean, it's, it's well organized. It's well set up but it d definitely does not grab you. Um, 
I would say this one right here does a much better job of grabbing you. So here the student has the title of their invention. It's really big. You can see it's very colorful. And I want you to see how many different colors we have here. Yellow, red, orange, blue. Tons of different colors. And so that those colors really stand out. And this is kind of uniquely cut out, so it makes it stand out. Um, it's well organized. They have the problem, the solution, what it does, the benefits. It kind of goes in a weird order. Um, so that's why I would not give a student a 9. I'd probably give them a, or not a 10. I would give them a 9. It does have a diagram of it. has pictures. But here's the nice touches that make this one a 9 as well. Not only is this really professional looking, they have a border. And the border ties into the uh, what the invention is. This is the dog entertainer. And these are all pictures of dogs. So it makes it very colorful and kind of makes it stand out. So um, I'd say the student is definitely a 9. Bordering on a 10. How they could get a 10 um, is if they had simply organized it a little bit better and if the trifold had, uh, it, it has a lot of color to it already, uh, but a white trifold is very plain and so it doesn't pop like a colored one. So for instance, this is a colored one. And look how this one pops. It's got the yellow background. They've got a border that makes it stand out. And everything's very professional. So the title, I would give this one a 10 definitely. It's got a title that's really big and kind of uniquely put on there. They draw these little, you know, accent to accentuate, you know, the title. They have the ask a question. They have the different parts to it. They have put border around each of these. And look how this takes up the entire page. When it doesn't take up the whole page, they put a visual that does take up the whole page. So this one, they have... Um, pictures that add to it. They've added cans that add to the, the visual uh, aspect of it. Um, and the, the yellow background just makes this white paper really pop. It makes it stand out. So my, my advice to you, is, this is not a requirement, but my advice to you is to get a colored trifold. Not black, because black um, is almost like white. It's kind of neutral and it doesn't make it really stand out. But like a yellow one or a red one or blue or green. Um, and then make sure that the things like this person used yellow and then had red border. So if they'd used yellow and then had like a yellow border, that would not have looked nice. So you have to make sure the colors look nice. Um, but I would say this is definitely a 10. Um, so if you want to get a 10, this is what you would need. Because the, the title is really big. I mean, take a look at that title as compared to, you know, that title right there. It looks very professional the way it is right there. Um, and you know the way that they have look look at this the way this is typed out and how professional that looks and compare it to that where it is typed out but it's spaced not very nicely or the handwriting one hand that's handwritten does not look as nice as the typed one so um so that is your um how what about your trifold so uh, what you can do the rest of the time that you're here for your work is to do one of a, a few things. So you, you can do you can work on step one, which is your journal, and your journal needs to be done up to step number three. Step four and five are in there. You don't need to fill those out, so don't worry about doing those. Just go up to step three. That that's your design, and so uh, you need to make sure that you look on the internet if there's anything like your invention that already exists. Um, so you could do that. If you're done with your journal, you could continue to work on your design. So you need to have a final version of your design so that when you put it on your um, uh, trifold, it goes right. You just paste it right here, and it'll look really nice. So the third thing you could do is to work on your trifold. Now you obviously don't have trifolds with you, but what you could do is you could start to write out what is this problem going to be. So write on notebook paper. Um, and use your journal to help you. What would that look like when you type it? So when you go to type it, you know what to put. Same thing with how the invention works and so on and so forth. So you could start on that. So you should be doing one of those three things. You should also, a reminder, you should be working on your model at home so that your model is going to be um, done. What you eventually will do the next time we get together, um, you will um, be working on your trifold still. And then the last couple of... Um, times we get together, we'll, we will look at what, how to present. So keep in mind, April 11th, you should have gotten a notice that this is the Invention Convention League is going to be the evening of April 11th. And so um, you got to make sure that you have everything done by then so you can present to the judges. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. And I will see you next time we get together.